For today I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to assemble the 6 pot DWCR Root Rapid from Basement Lighting, basementlighting.com. This system comes in a choice of sizes from 4 pots up to 24 pots and also a 20 litre pot system and the 33 litre pot system which is one I'm going to show you today. Now that we've got everything out of the box, I'm just going to have a quick run through the kit contents. 6 times 33 litre pots with the top gland fitted. The control pot with the nutrient recirculating pump fitted. Air pump. Flexi pipe. Nutrient pipe. Air line. Recirculation pipe. Comprehensive handbook. 6 glands. 6 lids. 6 200ml net pots. 6 air stones and six tea pieces with our individual filtration systems fitted. Before you begin to assemble the system, the only three things required are an adjustable spanner, some sharp scissors and a pot of just boiled water. Now I'm going to make the first of the pipe connections. Looking inside the control pot you'll find two glands and two straight pieces. Take the nut off the back of the gland there's two washers on it. Take one washer off, leave the one on, push the gland through. Replace the washer to the inside of the gland. Put the nut on. Tighten the gland up as tight as you can with your fingers. Keeping an eye on the washer just to make sure it's got a good seal. And then just give it a quarter of a turn with the spanner. Repeat this same process, fitting the gland to each of the remaining six pots. Before you start cutting any pipe, it's important to space out the pots and decide exactly the distance required between each pot. Now that we've got the two glands and the two straight pieces fitted to the control pot, it's time to fit the first T piece to the nearest pot to the control pot. Take the black flexi pipe, measure the distance between the two pots, cut the pipe as required, put both ends of the pipe into the boiling water, after a few seconds the pipe should be soft enough to make fitting a lot easier. Repeat this process down both sides and connect the pots with a loop at the end. Now that we've connected both sides of the system together using the flexi pipe and finished in a simple loop at the end, we can begin fitting the airline and the air stones.
Always remember to leave a lot of slack in the bottom of the pot to allow for the root mass. Now just simply repeat this process in each pot. Now that we've fitted the airline and the air stones, we can begin fitting the recirculation pipe. Unlike the airline, the recirculation pipe only has to reach just inside the pot by a few inches. Try and use the natural curve of the pipe to get the end of the pipe facing towards the inside of the pot. This will give you a quieter running system. Now just repeat this process on the rest of the pots and we'll be ready to fill the system. Now that we've got everything put together, it's time to fill the system. Initially, just put two or three inches of water in it and check for leaks. It's much easier to do with the leaks with just a little bit of water rather than a full system. Also, go around all your top glands and make sure your pipes are secure. Failure to do so could result in a pipe falling out and flooding the whole thing. Moving on to the air pump, it's always a good idea to keep your air pump elevated towards the top of the pots. It makes the air pressure higher and the pump easier to work. I'm just going to talk about a couple of maintenance issues. The only things you really have to do is check your EC and your pH. This can be done in the control pot as, because it's a recirculating system, the readings in the control pot should be the same throughout the whole system. You've got your inline filter, take this out once a week. Simply rinse out under the tap and replace. And the filter inside the control pot. Actually remove the grill from the back of the pump, take out the inner filter, wash as necessary, we'll also send you a couple of spares, and that's any maintenance required. Now we can fill the system and we can see it operating. So that's the system assembled and filled with fresh nutrients. Looking inside the pot, you'll see that we've filled the nutrient level to just below the net pots. When the plants are in the early stages with little root mass, it's always a good idea to bring the nutrients just below the bottom of the nets. Once you start developing those roots, you can always lower the level accordingly. Looking in the pot, what we want to see is lots of air bubbles going through the water and lots of nutrient recirculating nicely, just as it should be. So that's the six pot DWCR Root Rapid. Available from four pots to 24 pots in 20 litre and 33 litre variations. Each system arrives with the correct amount of clay pebbles. Thanks for watching.